Hi, I'm Hine Tapura. I'm going to talk to you about being immunised against HPV. There are four types of virus called human papillomavirus, or HPV for short. They're passed on in different ways through skin-to-skin -skin contact, and they're pretty common. Did you know four out of five people get them in their teenage years? Most of the time, you wouldn't even know that they're there, and they usually go away on their own. But sometimes they hang around, and then they can be really nasty. Hi. Oh, hi, Hina Tafara. How can I help? I'd like to know about the HPV immunisations. Well, we give you the HPV immunisation at school about age 12 because we know that's the best time for you to be protected. This is the age where you produce the best antibodies after your vaccinations. Most people will be infected with HPV at some point in their lives. This can lead to genital warts and, for a few, this can cause cancer, especially cervical cancer. More than 50 women in New Zealand die of cervical cancer every year and lots more need hospital treatment. Right, so it's pretty serious? It is. You probably got your Boostrix immunisation last year to protect against diphtheria, tetanus and pertussis. Maybe you've heard it, called whooping cough. So you'll remember how immunisations work, but just in case, here's a reminder. The immune system protects us against germs by making special blood cells and antibodies. The first time your body meets a germ, your body takes time to make the blood cells and antibodies to fight off that germ. It's during this time that the germs can sometimes make you unwell, but a healthy immune system will eventually fight off the germs. Once your immune system has encountered a germ, it can recognise it the next time it sees it. Your immune system is able to fight off the germs before you become unwell. This is called immunity. HPV immunisation works by making your body recognise the most common kinds of HPV that can cause cervical cancer and genital warts. The HPV vaccine contains little particles that look the same as some of the particles on the outside of the real virus. Because they are only particles and not the real virus, you can't get HPV from the vaccine. They'll just help your immune system fight the HPV virus in the future. I've heard some kids can react badly to an injection. Hardly ever, but it can happen. You probably won't have any side effects at all. A few people feel a little dizzy, sick, or get a fever or a headache after their vaccination. This is normal and should get better on its own. There are things you can do to help. Make sure you have breakfast or lunch before your injection. Even a snack before or afterwards will help stop you feeling faint. The injections are done in your upper arm, so wear a loose shirt, preferably with short sleeves. Take things easy afterwards. Your nurse will keep an eye on you after the vaccination and will provide you with all the advice you need. If you've reacted badly to an injection before, or even if you've just been ill lately, somebody in your family should ask the doctor or practice nurse if it's okay for you to have the immunisation. If you have asthma, allergies, or you're getting over something not too serious, like a common cold, you can still be immunised. Your parents can talk to the nurse if they would like more information, but the important thing is that the benefits of immunisation are huge compared to the risks. It will take three injections a few months apart to be fully protected. In very rare cases, a problem can occur, but we nurses are trained to deal with it. And as I said, problems are very rare indeed. They're covered off in the form you will get to take home. So once you've been immunised, you're covered, right? Actually, that's not the end of the story. When you get older, from your 20th birthday, you should get a smear test done every three years. This is another way to protect yourself against the risk of cancer. So, to get immunised, kids need to get the form signed, right? That's right, Hini Tapara. We can't immunise any kid before the parents or guardian let the nurses know whether or not you can have the vaccines. We're handing these out to all kids to take home. It has everything they need to know. It has to be filled in, signed and brought back to school before we can do your immunisation. Tell your parents to fill in Section A to get the immunisation done at school, or Section B if they don't want you to get it. 
Either way, they must sign the form and you have to bring it back to school. But if your parents or guardians aren't sure about anything, don't worry. They can talk to me or any school nurse, the doctor or the practice nurse. They can even watch this video for themselves online at www.health.govt.nz forward slash immunisation. You want to keep yourself healthy, right? Get your parents to sign the form so you can be immunised against HPV.